Well, welcome to the 2016 season. What, what are you thinking for this season? Well, we're excited. Uh, excited for a new journey. Um, excited to, to get a, another season going. Uh, and I think for uh, all of the players, for the staff, uh, for the entire program, there's uh, a strong optimism, uh, expectations going into it, uh, which creates even more excitement. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just this event alone, how has it grown over the couple of years? I think it's the fourth one. That it, you is, had? it is. It is. It's it's grown in that it gro you know in numbers it's grown, but also. Um, I think in the production of it, you know, what it looks like, it's it's more of an event now. Mm -hmm. um, and, and a lot like our games, uh, it ends up being a, a family type atmosphere yeah. that we see a lot of young kids here mm -hmm. as well as, um, you know, older fans as well, family. Um, so it, it's a neat event just to um, reunite with people and uh, get the season kicked off in the right way. Absolutely. You think maybe one day a kid will walk in through here, he'll see a player and be inspired, and maybe he'll be coaching him in 10 years. Well, I know there's some here tonight that you know I've, I've had an experience with already that mm -hmm. um, high, have high aspirations of playing. That's awesome. Um, just as the season as a whole, um, I don't want to use the word let down in the tournament. What was your um, your emotion right after that uh, last game and then the off-season training and the mindset to this next season? Yeah, uh, for sure. You know, there's, um, like every year here, there are high expectations. And after the last game and not participating in the NCAA tournament, it was a disappointment uh, and, a, and a letdown. Um, but, I, I, you know, I think there's a lot of reflection in that. And, um, and, and with that, um, a recommitment, and uh, not only for our staff and the players, uh, and, and I think with that we, um, in the off season, worked hard um, to be better. And I, I think for sure the spring was a success. And um, with the, the guys we have returning and the guys that we have coming in, um, I think we're in a much better spot than we were a year ago. Who are some of the leaders on this year's team? Well, the, the leadership group that we have consists of uh, Theo and Jerry, Tim and Romy. Okay. Um, but they're not the only leaders. We have some you know, good experienced mm -hmm. guys, guys like Stefan who is just coming into it and has a lot of experience and, and maturity. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, some, you know, we have some very good senior guys, older guys that um, are, are developing and, and becoming very good leaders for us. Now, I talked to a few of them and I asked them what you have taught them um, for on and off the field. What are some things that they've taught you? Well, I, you know, I think it's it's um, it's that I, I need to continue to grow as a coach um, and, and find ways to help them um, be better in, in all you know all areas. Um, that I recognize that um, the only way that I can help them is by myself growing first, and um, and I'm I'm committed to that and understand that. And, uh, continue to work at putting myself in a better place to be a better coach for them. I know that personally as well. Like, you've told me the reading thing before and I haven't stopped. Um, what was I going to ask next? Just looking forward. Um, um, sorry, I had sorry. one. I had one, a really good one. That's all right. <laughs> what, what, what's practice been like for you? Um, you know, waking up early, how, what's the day routine been like getting yeah, these guys we, we train. We train basically twice a day. We train in the morning and then uh, early evening. Um, and it's been it's been intense. You know, it's a, it's a very busy, uh, very focused, uh, very intense part of the year. Yeah. Uh, we're in a short period of time. You're trying to get a lot done. Um, but it's been it's been productive as well. It's been very beneficial. And I think uh, with a short you know, three days we had prior to our first game, I thought the guys put in a, a very good effort and grew, and um, we have a long ways to go, but encouraging signs so far. I think it's been really, uh, like, just there were a few weeks there where it was just miserable, almost dangerous, hot outside. How are you staying precautious to, to those extreme heats and keeping the guys safe? It's a good question. Um, we measure their weight, you know, before and after every training and make sure that um, based on how many pounds they've lost water-wise, that they get that back into them before wow. the next uh, training. That's crazy. And what kind of effects do you see if they're not properly conditioned or well, hydrated? Fatigue is a big thing. You so know, fatigue and then, down. and then the, you know, the dangers of um, you know, the muscles breaking down because of that. We haven't had any of that, but those are things, those are signs that you look for.
Yeah. Um, do you have any idea of some sort of starting rosters or? No, you know it's too early yeah, to tell. Yeah, I have to um, And and we you know we just got one guy in today. We have another yep. one coming in next week. Um, so we're still putting the team together and yeah. um, we're, we're still figuring out a little bit. Yeah. Well, it's an awesome event. I'm really excited Thank to you. see everything. All the the old guys coming back and the new yeah. guys speaking and dinner. I love dinner. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> thanks for talking to me. Thank coach. you. Appreciate have, it. Have a good day. You as well. Thanks for.